Hello Internet! We've been looking at character behavior in games and after much highly scientific study, we've deduced it needs more... <laughs> Starting by combining physics and animation. Uh, so how exactly are we going to do this? We can begin by applying information from our animation to our character ragdoll. Hang on, two questions. Firstly, what exactly is a ragdoll? And secondly, before that, did they just leave two Australians in charge of this entire episode? Indeed. Australians all at last. So, a ragdoll is a set of physics objects that we use to model the physical interactions to a character getting hit by something or to falling downstairs. Right, so we need one physics object for each joint, because that's going to be a lot. Just for each major part of the animation skeleton. Two or three objects for the body, two for each of the limbs, and one for the head. Complex ragdolls take a lot of CPU power, and they don't always give you a better looking character. Wait, are you trying to tell me it would look worse? How the hell does that work? The more parts in a physics object, the more likely it is to become unstable, causing the ragdoll to twitch or possibly push an arm through a wall. Right, and done. Let's drop him in the test chamber and... Well, that just looks like the exorcist, minus some peep soup, of course. What the hell is he doing? We never asked him to do this. He's just folded himself up. That's because there's no limits on these joints yet. We haven't set up the joints to behave like regular human joints. Most people can't bend their knees in that direction. Well, that just sounds like a challenge. But, uh, okay, yeah, you've got a point there. Right, angular limits have been added. He no longer flat packs himself up for easy storage. Have we just solved ragdolls? Not exactly. We've really only made ragdolls that are good for unconscious characters so far. Right, so this is perfect falling over and dying in millions of hilarious ways that people will no doubt post on YouTube, but there's no way to get him to stand up, let alone dance. We can, but that's a subject for an entirely different episode. For now, you'll have to stick with doing it purely in animation. Well, let there be dancing! Mm -hmm.